The buttonhole machine sews polished, consistent buttonhole stitches into a garment. The buttonhole is created by two rows of tight zigzag stitches along the length of the buttonhole and two wide zigzag end caps to secure the ends. The machine moves the fabric in a rectangular pattern to create the buttonhole stitch, first stitching away from the start point for the first zigzag line, then the end cap on the opposite end, returning back for the second zigzag, and lastly the end cap closest to you to complete the buttonhole. When you raise the presser foot after sewing each buttonhole, the machine will automatically trim your thread tails. The threading for this machine is quite similar to the single needle straight stitch machines with a few exceptions. There is a threading diagram posted next to the machine for your reference. The bobbin cradle is visible from the front view of this machine, so simply grab the small handle on the bobbin case to remove it from the machine. The bobbin and bobbin case for the buttonhole machine is wider and flatter than the standard straight stitch machine bobbins, so don't ever try replacing it with your own. There is a second bobbin on hand in the machine drawer if you need it. To wind the bobbin, slide it onto the winding post towards the back of the machine. Then bring the thread down from the cone stand through the tension and thread guides and wrap it around the bobbin in a counterclockwise direction. The winding of the bobbin on this machine is independent of the foot pedals, so simply push the lever next to the bobbin winder to lock it into place. The machine will begin winding automatically and release the bobbin when it's full. Clip your thread and remove the bobbin from the post. To reinstall the bobbin, hold it in your hand and pull the thread tail to make sure it spins in a counterclockwise direction. Then set the bobbin into the bobbin case, pulling the thread tail through the small slit in the case and gently tugging it until it locks under the flat metal hook. Install the bobbin back into the machine, making sure you hear a clicking sound to ensure it's locked properly in place. To thread the top needle, bring the thread up through the cone stand and down towards the machine. Travel through the two eyelets in the stationary thread guide, floss between the tension plates in a counterclockwise direction, then through the two eyelets in the vertical thread guide, down through the second tension plate, this time in a clockwise direction going underneath and between the plates. Then catch the bobbing wire hook, loop under the stationary hook, then another stationary hook above the bobbing wire and tension plates. Move through the eyelet in the thread take-up lever, then feed the thread through two more stationary guides. Thread through the eyelet at the top of the needle post, then thread the needle from back to front, making sure the scarf of the needle is facing towards you and the groove of the needle is facing towards the back of the machine. Bring the thread tail out towards the front of the machine and we're ready to sew. To adjust your buttonhole size, slide open the metal plate towards the back of the machine bed to reveal the button width gauge. Using the hex wrench in the drawer, loosen the hex nut to adjust the gauge to the desired buttonhole width, then tighten back down with the wrench. The small handle on the right hand side of the machine adjusts the speed and also has an emergency stop function. When the handle is facing forward, the machine is set for its highest speed. When it's facing downward, it's set at medium speed. And when it is spun backwards, it will activate the emergency stop, halting the machine from sewing any farther. For safety and ease of use, students must keep the machine at the medium speed with the handle facing downward. This machine has two pedals, and the most important rule is to never step on the pedals until you're ready to sew, and never step on both pedals at the same time. This can severely damage the machine. Use the left pedal to raise the presser foot. Keep in mind that the machine will stitch away from you, so start at the buttonhole edge closest to you. Lift your foot off of the pedal to lower the foot onto your fabric. When you're ready to sew, press down on the right pedal, compressing it all the way and then releasing. The machine will begin sewing and does all the work for you to complete the stitch. Keep your hands and all other objects clear of the machine while it's sewing. When the buttonhole is complete, raise the left pedal to lift the presser foot and the machine will automatically cut your thread and grip the thread tail for the next buttonhole stitch. The machine is not set up with a buttonhole cutter, so you will still need to cut open each buttonhole using either a seam ripper or X-Acto blade.